Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some of the main reasons why GTA 6 has been so difficult to develop, according to Rockstar Games CEO Strauss Zelnick. Now, GTA 6 is by far the biggest game that is in development right now, and that comes with some interesting challenges making a game at this scale. Nothing has ever been done like this before, and we're going to be discussing some of the interesting challenges that Rockstar has had to face with GTA 6 that have impacted how long it will take to get this game to market. Now the good news is, is that GTA 6 is closer than ever before, but in today's video we're going to be discussing some of the roadblocks and some of the difficulties that Rockstar has likely encountered while developing this game. Now we got a ton of really interesting and really important information to discuss today, so make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and right out went to the actual video. Now today's shoutout goes to the Easy Gold token. Easy Gold token is the first security token that makes gold investing seamless, secure, and profitable through profit participation rights. They are the first project to offer up to 50% profit participation to their investors through a security token. So with Easy Gold Token, you get all of the benefits of investing in gold plus more without needing to actually physically carry around bricks of gold. So this is a really interesting project that I definitely recommend you check out. So go ahead and click the first link in the description down below to learn more about the Easy Gold token. And also the private sale of Easy Gold token begins March 1st. So keep an eye on that as well. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, later this year, we're going to celebrate the 10th anniversary of GTA 5, and considering that GTA 6 development started when GTA 5 first came out, that means that GTA 6 has also been in development for about 10 years or so. Now, despite Rockstar having about 10 years to develop the game and perfect it, the game is still not released and there's actually a few very good reasons behind that. Now, a handful of these were revealed by Strahl Zelnick, which is the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, which is the parent company of Rockstar Games, and I'd like to break down a handful of those reasons right now. Now, one of the most underappreciated facts about the GTA series, in my opinion, is how well Rockstar is able to portray the narrative of the world and how they're able to make fun of modern pop culture while also making a game that is realistic and entertaining. This is truly an art form that only Rockstar has been able to perfect over the years, and the difficult thing about this art form is because the game is based in current reality, it's very difficult to adapt to changes that are happening in the real world. Now, over the past couple of years, there have been some big real world events, and because Rockstar started developing GTA 6 about 10 years ago, those events were never included in GTA 6. So while Rockstar did not have to completely redo the game, this did certainly delay the development process because a lot of the ways that people work, communicate, and overall live their lives have really changed over the past couple of years. So that is the difficulty with developing such a large game because you need to make sure that it is grounded in current reality and things are not out of date. Now, the good news is, is that Rockstar Games has said on multiple occasions that GTA 6 is in active development, and according to Rockstar Games CEO Strauss Zelnick, it seems like they are on track and there will not be any further delays, which is really good to hear. But that is only one of the main reasons why GTA 6 has been taking so long to develop. Now, another reason why GTA 6 has been taking so long to develop is the expectations for GTA Online. Now, one of the things that people don't realize about GTA 5 Online is that when Rockstar released GTA 5 Online, they were never expecting it to become what it is today. That is why GTA 5 Online can sometimes be slow, there might be glitches, there might be bugs, and overall the game is still super fun to play, but there are some rough edges, and those have gotten worse over the years as Rockstar has piled on new content. 
Now, it is still very impressive how Rockstar has been able to add new content onto a game that has never been developed for what it's being used for today, but one of the main things that they're allegedly doing with GTA 6 is pretty much rebuilding all of the GTA Online code from the ground up. So this will help improve performance as well as reduce the possibility of glitches and bugs, which all around is really good to see. So with GTA 6, Rockstar essentially needs to deliver a perfect story mode experience and in addition, a perfect online experience as well. With GTA 5, Rockstar was mainly focused on single player and the story mode, and online was kind of a secondary thing, but with GTA 6, both are at the utmost importance. Now, according to Charles Zelnick, Rockstar is planning to surpass all player expectations, which in my opinion is a pretty bold thing to say, considering that GTA 6 is by far the most hyped up video game of our generation. Now, every game that Rockstar releases always has a massive hype train behind it, and every time Rockstar seems to somehow manage to deliver a product better than ever expected, and it seems like that they will be able to again with GTA 6. Now, the good news is, is that we're only a couple of months away from the reveal based on everything that we know at the moment. We are expecting Rockstar to reveal GTA 6 sometime later this year with a release sometime next year in 2024. Now, this is not confirmed information, but we do know that Rockstar Games has projected a major revenue boost in mid-2024, and whenever Rockstar Games or another company in the game space does that, that usually means that a new game release is coming out around that time. Now, Rockstar has gone through a lot with the GTA 6 development, especially having to transition working from home for a while, then going back to the office, then having to redo parts of the story because they were not aligned with the current reality of the things in the world. There have been a lot of things that GTA 6 has gone through over the years, but it seems like that Rockstar is finally on the path to finishing the game. And don't forget that GTA 6 is a worldwide effort, which means that every company and every office in the Rockstar sphere is working on GTA 6. So that means Rockstar North in New York City, which is their headquarters, but also their other smaller studios, such as Rockstar San Diego in California, Rockstar India, Rockstar UK, all of those different Rockstar Games studio locations, they are all working on GTA 6, which means this is going to be a worldwide production. Now, GTA 5 was only developed for the most part in the United States in New York City, so this can speak to the absolute massive scale of GTA 6 that Rockstar needs to get the entire company involved in the development. So this is honestly really, really exciting, and I cannot wait to see what Rockstar has in store for us. So as I said, we should be getting our first look at GTA 6 later this year. But until then, I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. Do you plan to pre-order GTA 6 as soon as you can? Or are you going to wait until we get some more information, some more trailers to make your decision? Now, myself personally, I am probably going to pre-order as soon as it's available because I know that I'm obviously going to be getting the game, but I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. So let me know your thoughts in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share support, as well as subscribe down below with those bell notifications on it so you're notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day. I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.